Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. Um, today I'm going to be finishing off uh, my series of videos on gears. Uh, so if you followed my first video, you should have a gear modelled like this with 20 teeth. Um, for this video, we need gears of multiple sizes. So if you've not done the second video, creating multiple configurations using a design table, um, click the link and create that. If you've done that, and you have this gear, exact gear with multiple configurations, 20, 30, 40 teeth of the gear. Um, I'll show you how we're going to put it in an assembly and just and animate the gears as well. So just to get started, before I open in a, in a new assembly file, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show sketch number two that's on the cut extrude. That's so I can see it on my assembly to help me um, constrain the gears. So now I'm going to go to a blank assembly file. I'm going to create some geom uh, some reference geometry to help me um, define uh, the gearing. So firstly, I'm going to do an axis on the top plane and the front plane. Sorry. Let's delete that top plane and the right plane. So now I'm going to use the top, the right plane, and I'm going to create two new planes coming off that. Uh, one 62.5 off. And then the next one I'm going to offset from plane one. And it's going to be... Um, I've got it in my notes here, uh, 87.5 off. So I'll just show plane, the right plane as well. And go to view, display, hide and show, sorry, not display, and go to planes. So now I can see my three planes. I'm going to also show the top plane. So now I'm going to create axes in between these three planes. So I'm going to go to reference geometry, axes, click the right plane and do the same again click the top clear that uh, click the top plane and plane one don't select plane select axes plane one top plane and do the same again reference geometry axis plane two right plane so from there if I go to hide and uh, view hide and show again axes what we're going to do is just hide these planes. So now I have three axes that are all in line with each other. So from there, oops, I made that axis twice by accident, so I'll delete that. Sorry about that. Right, so now I've got three axes that are all on the same plane. And I'm going to start by inserting the gear. And now SolidWorks will insert this gear as fixed but we don't want it fixed because we obviously want it to move because it's a gear. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to float. So now I can move it about. So now I'm going to click the shaft circle of the gear and axis one. And I'm going to make that coincident. Now I'm going to use the front plane and click the front of the gear and make that. So now I should just have a gear that can is, is fully constrained but can rotate, which is fine. So now I'm going to do the same again on axis on the axis three. Insert the gear. Coincident with the axes. I'm going to just make it flush with, and then make the faces. Of the gears if it'll let me keep clicking on axes there we go and do the same again insert the gear click the axis make them oops and i'm also going to make the faces again so now i have three gears all in a line all flush with each other, like a swim round. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this gear at 20 teeth, but now because we've created multiple configurations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one. So just click on the fit, click on the second gear, go to my configurations. I'm going to make it 20 teeth, tick it. I'm going to do the same again with this one, but make it 40 teeth. So now I need to mate these gears so they um, move with each other like actual gears would in real life. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just line the teeth up first manually, just so I've got an idea. You know. So now, if you look at the sketch that we showed on um, before we started the assembly, you have these two circles that are coincident with each other. So if I go to mate and then go to mechanical mates, and then you have this mate called gearing. And if I click those two sketch circles and leave it at the ratio of 50 to 75, because that's the diameter of the circles, and tick it. And then do the same for the third gear. So let's come on that, just manually line it up. So the teeth are engaged on the gearing. And then click these two circles, mates, and then we go to advanced, uh, sorry, mechanical mates, gearing, click both circles. And then it's going to do 75 to 100, which is the size difference in the circle. So we tick that, come out of that. So now when I turn this gear, all the gears turn in line. So that's how you make gears. So they act, they act like gears would in real life. So no matter which gear I turn, they turn the same. So now I'm just going to get rid of this, hide this sketch. So I'm just going to open the part. Cut to. I'm just going to hide that sketch. So now I'm just going to go back to the gears assembly. So now I'm going to show you how to animate this. So it's very simple to do. Just go to view and just get rid of the axes to make it a bit tidier. So to do that, all you have to do is go to motion study at the bottom. And then we need to add a motor to one of the gears. So if we go to motor, which is this little symbol here, which I can find for some reason. And now I want to click the circle of the gear so the shaft and so it's giving me a direction and how many rpms i want to do it so we'll do it at 50 rpm so now it's made a five second an animation clip of this gear spinning at 50 rpm so i'll just change it to 10 seconds and now if i click play at the top it should animate the gears which it has done I hope I hope this has been easy to follow. I hope you've enjoyed um, just uh, trying to model these gears, and I hope you've learned a few things. If you have, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll create more videos. Um, thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions or comments, just pop them in the comments below. And thanks.